Before the video gets started today, I want to say thank you to the very few people who are subscribed and to the people who aren't. What are you doing? Just go down below. There's a red button. You click on it and you can see this magical number. It goes up by one. And that gives many thank yous to you from me. So let's go ahead and get back into the video after you click that subscribe button. Our door, if you, um, are, as you already saw. Um, no, this is just a basic, like, little thing here. Uh, you can power it anywhere you want. Maybe, like, place a button here and then it opens or something. This, I'm going to till a block and it will open. So we're going to have to till a block and go in. Now, when you originally go in for this door, it's going to, uh, it's going to be real quick. But if you walk in and then you stand on the pressure plate, this pressure plate will keep it open. But this pressure plate will also close it so you can get off of it. So, um, I'll show you how to build this. And you can power it any way you want. I, I simply just use a... Um, use the till block, you know, I'm just changing the block to, to farmland here. Um, and that requires just a couple of extra redstone and this repeater here. But, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, we'll go over here and we'll find the corner that we want. Just like this. And we'll grab our four sticky pistons. Go ahead and put those right back there. Now, what we're going to want to do is dig two blocks out, two blocks down, sorry, um, just everywhere, kind of here, just everywhere around it. You're not going to need all of this space, I'm just clearing some, some extra space out so I can move around. Now, you're going to want to put a block behind the bottom piston on all of these. And one redstone dust on top of them. You're going to also want to put an extra block, two down, and um, a redstone torch on it. Now that's going to give you power to both of them. Uh, if you didn't have, if you only had the block here, it only gives power to the bottom one. So next step here, we're going to go ahead and put in the pressure plate. So we're going to go ahead and put it right here, right by the corner of the door. Get your pressure plate. Put a redstone dust under it. Now, it doesn't matter what part you put it on, but you just go ahead and put one, some redstone like that. Two repeaters like this on three ticks or however long you want the doors to be opened once you step on this pressure plate. Now you're going to want to go ahead and put some redstone like that, and then lead it into the block. Now you don't want to take any shortcuts, this has to, this one has to be directly into the block, just like that. And then you're, go, you're already done here on the inside, so you could just go ahead and fill in your floor and, and whatnot. So you're good here. Now if you want a... If, if you want a, um, a secret entrance with, uh, with the observer like I had earlier, where you just um, use a hoe on this block to make a farmland, then it's real simple. You find the one that you want, reachable from the door, and you put an observer right behind it, just like that. And then we're gonna, this one, you can't use glass or nothing on this one. So you have to build a little bit of a staircase, but it has to be out a little bit. So that way it doesn't hit, interact with this redstone torch right here. So we're going to go ahead and get redstone. Just go down here. And we're going to put a repeater here. And we're going to put it on two ticks, just like this. So once you put it down, just click it once. And we're going to go ahead and connect this redstone. Make sure it doesn't go onto here. Uh, make sure it just go, it goes up and around, and then you can go ahead and fill that back in. Don't don't put a block there, because you know it'll cover the redstone. So now, if you go out, you can use the hoe 
on well sometimes it's a it's a bit glitchy like that and that's because it's going super fast so all you can do is, ch is changing that by messing around with some of the repeaters now the the one right here that I'm messing with is the timing in between when I click it and when the doors open. Now the ones down here are the ones that will trigger it with the doors. So if you put them on Vortex, anyway, so you can go ahead and set these to Vortex or Three Ticks, whatever you would like. But uh, that's that's it. Yep.